Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will see what is SAP HANA and then we will cover the few topics from the overview like what is a row versus column storage, what are the different HANA vendors and then we will cover the SAP HANA Studio look and feel. So, what is SAP HANA? So, my SAP HANA, it is the largest in-memory analytic project product. So, why we call it as an in-memory that we will cover in the slide later on. After that, my HANA stands for High Performance Analytic Appliance. And it provides the data compression and the parallel processing. So, my data compression rate is very high in SAP HANA and that too is because of the column storage. And we have the parallel processing because of the in-memory. HANA memory leads Re, it can read the data 1 million times faster as compared to the conventional database. So, my SAP HANA memory, it can read the data much faster than other databases because of the in-memory storage. After that, SAP HANA, it will reduce the cost of ownership, it will increase the application performance and it will enable the new applications to run on the real time. So, with SAP HANA, the storage is in memory and the column based storage as well as the row based storage is possible and it is much faster than our traditional databases. So, for now what is in memory? In memory means that my whole data will be stored in the memory itself. So, there is no time wasted in loading the data from the hard disk to RAM or while processing keeping so some data in the RAM and some data on the disk temporarily. So what happened in my other traditional databases is we keep some of the data in the RAM and most of my data will remain on the disk and it will bring up into the RAM only when it is required. But in SAP HANA my all data is stored in the memory itself and that's the reason it is very faster. So, the time which is getting wasted to read the data from my disk and then bringing in the data into the RAM that is get saved. Everything is in memory all the time which gives the CPU quick access to the data for processing. So, the here in this we can see that the database is stored in the RAM. So, this is my RAM this is my HANA database and this is my traditional database. So basically what is happening here is that the copy of the database is stored in the hard disk and my most of the data is stored in the RAM itself. So the calculations, everything is very fast because we have everything in memory. After that, what is the difference between the column storage and the row storage? So Storing the data in the column is not a new technology but it has not been leveraged to its full potential yet. So we were also using the column storage earlier as well but in SAP HANA it is utilized fully. So the column storage is read optimized that is the read operation can be processed very fast. So we can see here that we have this table customer. So this is my typical row based storage where we first of all uh, uh, first of all we are storing the data like the tuple 1, tuple 2, tuple 3 and tuple 4. So when we say the tuple 1 it means that this 100, D, 100 everything will be stored in the sequence like this. But when it comes to the column based storage so when it comes to the column based storage so in this we can see that my data which is of, of similar data type it is getting stored sequentially. So that's the reason the compression is very fast, aggregation is very fast because the similar data type of data is getting stored sequentially. So this is a row based storage in the memory it will look like this that is 100, D, 100 but my column based storage is like this wherein I have stored the data which is similar or which is of similar data type. So HANA handles this well with the data merge. So the column data uh, column storage will perform very well while reading and write the operations are taken care 
by the in memory computing engine in some other ways so basically it is optimized for reading as well as for writing so these are my sap hana vendors so we have 11 vendors for sap hana hardware which are cisco dell ibm hp we have few others as well like lenovo huawei nec and fujitsu so my SAP HANA hardware is much much powerful as compared to the other traditional databases. Then this is the product availability matrix. So we can go to the service.sap.com and we can go to the product availability matrix to see the details of my SAP HANA PAM. So this is the typical sizing for the SAP HANA. So uh, we can see here the RAM and then the compression ratio then the disk and the log and the CPU. Thank you. So in this session we have covered what is SAP HANA, what is in memory, what is the difference between the row storage and the column storage. Thank you.